Hey Taurus, uh, this is Soul, and Taurus, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st, 2016. Okay, so my bulls, this is, I feel this is going to be, for some of you anyway, a pretty good week. Okay, let's see how it pans out. Uh, but we're going to start off with the energy of the fool card, okay? Major Arcana, Major Life Event. It's in the upright, so this is a good sign starting off. So the fool represents taking that leap of faith, okay? Also represents uh, new beginnings and fresh starts. So this is a general reading, and... You have to apply the messages that are close, personal, or significant uh, to you. And I'm going to try to broaden them as much as I can. But the Fresh Stars New Beginnings could relate to a new job. It could relate to a new relationship, uh, possible friendship. It could be something going on in the family. I always have to cover those areas because it, this is what uh, seems to be coming through. Okay, And it's not that I'm reading. It's just specific for... Um, one particular area okay so it's taking that leap of faith also the fool comes in to say for those uh, bulls um, just be fearless just be fearless and allow uh, whatever you venture yourself out to you know if it's the unknown just know that the universe is going to support you for whatever it is that you uh, wish to achieve or manifest and bring to yourself and then is also uh, coming through for some of you is not taking part in playing of you know the fool for whatever that means. I don't know. I'm saying it because it's 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 meant for someone. So again, a general reading. It could be a friendship. It could be a, a romantic relationship. It could be something going on in the job. Something going on in the family structure. All right. Not playing or taking the part of a fool. Taking a leap of faith, trusting the universe, okay, being fearless, new beginnings, possible fresh starts for some of you, okay. Um, so that starts your energy off, and this is all week, and it's a major, so it's it's heavier than the minors that are coming up next. The next card up is um, the Prince of Swords, so there you go. So in connecting with the, you know, the full card and having to venture out into the unknown. The Prince of Swords is representative of having to make a decision. It's in the upright. And. It's like you're taking a, you know, a strike, if I can say that, because the sword here and it's facing the. You know, the, the, the full card is the back is to the Prince of Swords. OK, I'm trying to connect the dot here. So just bear with me. So it may be that you're, you know, made that decision that you're going to take that leap of faith. Possibly take risk. This card is about risk taking. So making the you know, decision to venture out, take those risks, unknown risk. And just know that the whatever it is. That the universe is going to support you. Okay. I did want to put that in there. Because I was just hearing. Uh, the Prince of Swords represents. You know decision making. Something coming in quick. Uh, and then you know. In the upright it's all about gaining clarity. And possibly. Um, you know using your, your. You know your logical mind. As opposed to your emotional heart. And making the decision. But I just feel that something comes in. Uh, that leads you. So. Again, facing the full card, it's all about Taurus maybe having to have pondered about doing something in the past. And now it's time for you to make that move. This is why the prince is facing the fool. OK, it's like he's striking him, telling him to go ahead, make that move. Now's the time to do that. That's why I'm getting that message there. This energy relates to um, for some of you air signs now this could be you know within a relationship family co you know co-worker friend whatever gemini libra or aquarius that may or may not be involved in part of the decision making and you propelling yourself out there putting yourself out there okay it's like a call almost for the universe is calling you or drawing you out there um 
asking you and maybe the sword is showing up too is like if you've had any uh fears you're cutting away those fears and now you're ready to venture out if that makes sense okay now whatever the situation is for some of you in the middle of the week you have the ten of cups and I think this is like the very first time that I've drawn this card since I started using this deck um, for this particular month of readings. Ten of Cups is in the upright. So this is some, for some of you, having to experience some sort of happy emotional fulfillment. This is a family card. This is a wedding card. So it could be, you know, family gatherings, reunions taking place this upcoming week. This is all about celebrating and just you know, having a good time. And it doesn't necessarily, even though it's a family card, it could be with friends, you know, because Taurus could have multiple friends that you're close to. And I just see a lot of celebrating. It could be you're celebrating someone's uh, birthday, you know, anniversary. This is also, as I see it, a card of invitation. So some of you may be receiving invitations to join others in celebrating some sort of special event this week, which is good. Also to the cups represents uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, the water signs, male or female. So some of you may be in relationships. Some, may, some of you may be, you know, one or two may be getting married to a, a water sign. Um, but whatever that is, it's, it's a message for me to pass on to you that you're experiencing some sort of emotional happiness and contentment with this uh, significant other partner. Okay? They're bringing a lot of emotional happiness and joy your way and likewise you're doing the same for them okay so this is a good week i feel for some of the bulls uh coming up now friday going into the weekend we have and it would have been so perfect i mean it's still a perfect reading but it would have been even perfect more perfect if this um princess i'm sorry the prince of disc was in the upright so now there's with this showing up in the reverse, there's there's this message that I have to put out there that and the disc represents earth sign. So that's you, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Somebody's being someone's being stubborn or resistive. Now, whether or not this is related to a relationship, it could be, but it could be, you know, some of you are still being resistive to taking that leap of faith with the full car showing up. The, you know, the emphasis is for you not to. All right. And then I just feel that there could be, a you know, a Taurus or two that I'm reading for that's in a relationship already. With another earth sign that's being somewhat difficult, stubborn. OK, and this card, ironically, for whatever reason, in the upright, if you notice, it's a snake at the bottom of his foot. So I don't know if there's some sort of sneaky shit going on. Or um, some sort of maneuvers. If it's not a relationship, it could be, you know, with a friendship as well. Or something going on in the family uh, structure. Someone's being, a, it could be that giving you the slip, slippery slope. This is what I'm getting with the snake, okay? Something's not right here with the snake at the bottom of this, this gentleman's foot. And it's in the reverse, so that's... Uh, even more significant for me to say that there's something not right but this is not going to impact all of you i'm just reading for one or two that's having some sort of situation with another earth sign possibly but they don't have to be a direct earth sign um they could have you know earth sign elements in their birth chart and or it could be any zodiac sign somebody is being sneaky because the snake doesn't represent good or positive things okay and I definitely would have had a different message if, if it was you know in the upright okay and that message would have been you know for you to be careful of someone close to you who may try to do some sneaky or undermined stuff towards you so because the snake wraps around you grips you and it, it constricts you okay so maybe maybe that's what it is or maybe the snake is um also in, an indicator 
let me get this right it also could be an indicator that the snake in the reverse with the prince of disc in the reverse with the snake at the foot could be associated with having to be releasing some sort of restriction of fear and taking a leap of faith okay i just got that so there's a couple messages here but there's someone friendship relationship someone is unsteady or unstable and they're uh, somewhat sneaky so that's just for them the rest of you please i hope that you experience the uh, energy this week with the fool the prince of swords and the ten of cups all right so that's your reading and taurus the golden path oracle card that i have selected for you is wisdom and wisdom says the greatest wisdom is to see through appearances and this card confirms that you have taken the right course of action and have responded in the correct manner sometimes the best thing for all concern is to have the strength to say no your recent response will empower and help help you and others you have shown great wisdom by standing in your truth and yet you have done this with great love and respect for yourself and others. Okay, that's just the snippet because it is lengthy. Um, but I just wanted to read a couple of lines here to give you associated with this wisdom card. So if the above reading here does not resonate with you, Taurus, then these oracle cards are drawn because there may be a message here that does resonate with you and vice versa. Okay. Uh, but overall, let's hope some of you enjoy this energy, this positive energy this week. Okay. Thank you, Taurus, once again for visiting my channel. Um, I do want to wish you all a very safe week upcoming and, of you know, sending out a lot of positive vibes your way. Until the next time, Taurus, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.